Throughout history, the occult has served as a foil to the societal norm of dogmatic religion and prescribed spiritualism. Often associated with primal worship, witchcraft and ancient ritualistic practice, the occult is a word shrouded by veil of secrecy that humanity has time and time again through forbidden literature and lost arts attempted to peel back. Hello horror fans and once again welcome back to the scariest channel on YouTube, Top 5 Scary Videos, the place where no stone is left unturned in the frightful world of horror fiction and fandom. As always I'll be your spirit guide Jack Finch as today we curiously take a look at the top 5 terrifying occult mysteries. Roll the clip. They were here. Granted, the world of the occult is a broad spectrum. What some of us may explain away as the act of a deranged mind, others would argue that there are more mysterious forces at play. The term Satanism is often banded around as an explanation for these bizarre and often brutal acts, but some of them, well, they don't really have an explanation at all. Let's take a look, shall we? Kicking off at number five, the Dyatlov Pass incident, which is perhaps one of the most unexplainable mysteries of the modern era, as far as intention goes. Granted, I will admit that the Dyatlov Pass incident may not necessarily be explained by an act of the occult, the most likely explanation being a logical yet tragically coincidental accident. But you've got to admit, the red flags are there. On January 25th, 1959, nine Russian students set out on a journey across the Atorton mountain range, nestled deep in the northern Urals. They would never be seen alive again. Their tent was originally found by a search party after they'd been missing for over a month. It was found on the uppermost slope of Kolat Sikal, or Mountain of the Dead in the native language of Northern Siberia. All nine of the students were seasoned hikers and skiers, yet the scene told a different story. Their bodies were found scattered in various bizarre spots around the tent's location. Some of them had burrowed up to 15 feet beneath the snow. Most of them were naked with a string of bewildering anomalies. One of them, Lyudmila Dobinia, was missing her tongue and eyes. Others had broken bones and massive internal trauma, but perplexingly no external injuries, not even a scratch. Whatever happened on the mountain of the dead remains shrouded in mystery. Coming in next at number 4, the San Francisco Satanic Beheading. On the 8th of February 1989, a homeless man, Leroy Carter Jr., was sleeping rough in the Golden Gate Park of San Francisco. That night, he was brutally attacked and murdered. After the authorities had arrived on the scene the next morning, they discovered that his head had been cut off. Not only that, but it was nowhere to be found. They scoured the crime scene, but it had appeared that the head was missing. Bizarrely, perhaps the only clue at the crime scene was a headless chicken, which had been partly stuffed into Leroy Carter Jr.'s neck. The San Francisco police were baffled. They called in a specialist, Officer Sandy Gallant, who had built her career around occult crimes. From the beginning, she realized that the murder was perhaps related to a ritual involved in Palo Myobi, a black magic offshoot of the religion Santeria. Their intention was to make a ritualized brew from Leroy Carter's brain. Strangely enough though, she also predicted that the head would be returned to the crime scene after 42 days, in completion of the ritual. Well, lo and behold, right on schedule, the head was returned exactly 42 days later. However, no one had taken Officer Sandy Gallant seriously and no one was watching the crime scene to make an arrest. The ritualistic murderer escaped justice and the case remains unsolved to this day. Next up at number three, Pauline Picard. And this story is crazy. And we're going all the way back to April 1922 in the rural area of Brittany, France. On one fateful day, little Pauline Picard, who was just two years old at the time, disappeared from her family's farm. No one had seen her wander off and seemingly she had vanished without a trace. All search parties failed to find her, yet strangely enough, a few days later, local police received news that a little girl who matched exactly the description of Pauline Picard had been found alone wandering around the town of Cherbourg, which was over 300 kilometers away. Pauline's mother identified her via photograph and the police were satisfied that it was the same girl. I know, right? This case is absolutely insane, but hold on, 
because it gets weirder. Because about a month later, a farmer that was walking near the Picard farm stumbled upon the last thing that anybody expected to find. It was the mutilated and decomposing body of a young girl, perhaps two years old. Next to her was a pile of neatly folded clothes. When the townspeople arrived, Pauline's parents included, they discovered that the folded clothes were the exact same ones that Pauline had been wearing on the day that she disappeared. It was thought by police that the body had been deliberately placed. The crime scene was pristine. Even weirder though, I told you guys, was the fact that the skull of an adult male had been placed next to the body. If that was Pauline's body, then who was the other kid? What happened to Pauline? And what the hell is going on with that mysterious skull? Well, no one knows. And the strange case of little Pauline Picard remains France's greatest unsolved mystery. Swinging in next at number two, Jeanette De Palma. On the chilly afternoon of Monday, August 7th, 1972, 16 year old Jeanette De Palma left her house in Springfield Township, New Jersey, to meet a friend, let her mother know that she was taking the train on the way. She was never seen alive again. After her disappearance, her parents filed a missing person report with the Springfield Police, but the case went cold. That is until six weeks later on September 19th, when the skeletal remains of Jeanette De Palma were found at the top of Springfield's Hudale Quarry. This is where things get weird and raises the question of a potential fault in the police investigation. According to several witnesses, her remains were surrounded by a pattern of strange occultist objects adorned into a coffin shaped parameter of wicked branches and small wooden makeshift symbols. It is claimed by some residents of Springfield that this pattern was in actual fact a pentagram. Jeanette De Palma's autopsy did not reveal a cause of death, although the coroner suspected strangulation. Even more bizarrely were the high amounts of lead found in her body, yet no explanation for this was given either. Eventually the case went cold and the tragic murder of Jeanette De Palma remains a mystery to this day. And finally our number one spot, Bella in the witch elm. Who put Bella down the witch elm is a common question asked in the West Midlands area of Hagley near Birmingham. I've seen it myself often written in scrawling graffiti on brick walls. It's a mystery that has perplexed the Midlands for over half a century yet still remains to be answered. On April the 18th 1943 four young boys went poaching in the woods of the Hagley Hall estate thinking they'd find some bird nests ripe for picking. After climbing a witch elm tree the then 15 year old Bob Farmer made a much more gruesome discovery. Inside the hollow open of the tree's trunk wedged tightly inside were the skeletal remains of a woman, entirely complete save for one missing hand. Police were dispatched to the scene and found it exactly as described. Later, buried near the tree, they found the woman's severed hand along with several items of clothing believed to belong to her. Locals dubbed her Bella and rumours stirred of a witch's coven, black magic and a cultist execution. Police investigation later discovered that the woman who was believed to be between 35 and 40 had been placed into the Trees hollow while still warm, where she had remained hidden for at least 18 months. Nothing else is known about Bella and how she ended up in the Witch Elm, and it remains one of England's most terrifying occult mysteries. Well, there we have it, folks. Cheers for sticking around all the way to the end. What do you guys think? What mysteries keep you awake at night? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box down below. Before we depart, though, let's read out some of your best comments from the past few days. First up, Mackenzie Shoup says, One of my favorite horror movies is Repo the Genetic. Opera. And yes, Mackenzie shoot repo is absolutely awesome. Who knew that Paris Hilton would end up in a necro merchant flick, eh? Clay Talman says, Hello, awesome Jack. Was worried you'd make us listen to Taylor Swift. I would have had to unsubscribe for that. Well, Clay, my good buddy, you know I'd never make you listen to Taylor Swift, and only when it's wrapped up in an appropriate Cthulhu based joke. Glad to see you still kicking around. Unfortunately, horror fans, that's all we've got time for in today's video. If you're a fan of this list, make sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe bell so you can stay updated with our latest and greatest uploads. As always, I've been your host, Jack Finch. You've been watching top five scary videos, and until next time, you take it easy. Mm -hmm.